Hi, this is Steve Rowe from Rowe Productions, Modification and One Row Vision, and it is the 12th of August 2011, and I'm answering this week's question of the week, which comes all the way from Brazil, from Imandis Lucas. And uh, the question is, Hi Steve, today it is very difficult for a band to survive for years, overcoming all difficult that can appear along the way, being a Christian band, the fight is far greater, and we have seen so many good bands disappearing. Do you think something is missing from these bands, or is it just more that God's sign of the times, Christ's return approaches? Well, I think um, one of the main reasons that we're seeing Christians playing positive music rather than evangelistic music is the popularity of positive bands all over America especially that are getting on major tours with other metal bands and rock bands and so they're more being Christians in positive bands because they can be successful that way and I would never judge anybody for doing that. Um, back in the 80s the um, the Christian bands were really only limited to the Christian market. For example, my band Light Force back in the 80s was only released in Christian bookstores in America and Europe and in Australia and never got into the mainstream market. Now, the only bands in the 80s who were evangelistic Christian bands that made it successfully as evangelists into the mainstream market were Striper, Baron Cross and Guardian because they were released on Enigma Records, which is a major secular label. Now in the 90s, my band Mortification, of course, got signed nu to Nuclear Blast. We still work periodically with Nuclear Blast, but from 92 to 2002, we were a signed band. And so we had a in big impact, not only just in Christian bookstores, singing music for Christians to uplift them in their Christian faith, but also had the possibility to reach the secular market and play on major stages with major bands like Napalm Death and Entombed. And these days, um, to stand up for Jesus in public is not popular. In uh, many countries it's even seen as offensive. And I think that this is why you're seeing less and less people being in ministry bands, because um, you know it is it's so much easier um, just to be positive. And yet, isn't it interesting that we have some major secular artists that are now Christians, like last week I mentioned Negadeth. We have guys like Brian Head Welsh, who you know, left the band Corn because he became radically born again. And he now has a major ministry in the Christian and the secular market, and we really need to keep him in prayer. And there are a number, a small number that is, of um, evangelistic bands who are still being very successful in evangelism. We have Jerusalem in Sweden, we have Anti-Demon in Brazil who are doing a great work of evangelism there. I know Batista and his wife quite well just through the internet. And you've got to realise that these days ministry bands on ministry oriented record labels, those labels are dying by the week. They're not selling anything so you need to support the labels that are releasing Christian bands, ministry bands. If you want to see bands like Mortification and One Row Vision survive and other ministry bands, you need to support us. Now, you can go to rowproductions.com and you can go to the store and buy a Mortification CD. There's also the One Row Vision CD DV double pack at a very, very good price. And, um, of course, we have the Infiltration Squad, which is not some exclusive club. It's just I'm wanting people who join the Infiltration Squad and to come onto my Facebook be people I know that are of like mind with me and um, can come on there and not bring any negativism to that site. And, uh, you know, if you want to see um, Christian ministry bands like Mortification Survive, you can also think about donating to info at rowproductions.com through PayPal um, because surviving in ministry music these days is becoming almost impossible and I don't know how I will continue myself 
um, to continue in Christian ministry without um, the support of you guys, not just buying my CDs and joining Infiltration Squad, but, you know, even thinking about, you know, sending some of your tithe towards myself and other Christian ministry bands. So God bless you all. I hope to still be around. Um, I'll be around next week to answer the question of next week. Um, next week, the question of the week next week. And just, if you want to see the Christian bands survive, please keep supporting us because it's only the big mainstream bands that are really surviving these days. And uh, thank you for looking for the question of the week this week. And we'll be back with another one next week. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>